Hi, she was seven. Okay, so I've had a lot of men commenting on my channel, telling me I shouldn't be making videos, helping women uh, get things they want out of men, how no men are like this, and they're complaining. They just keep complaining, complaining, and complaining, and making excuses and all this kind of stuff. So I want them to hear it from you, ladies. Tell them why it is necessary for women to have a plan to marry someone financially stable tell them why it is good for women to protect themselves and not give sex away to just any stranger because they pay for a meal tell them why women expect men to pay for dates tell them all of this because they really think that it's okay for them to be what i call um children and if you're going to try to date a woman who is educated, who loves herself, who has standards, who was raised with a father, and who knows where they're going in life, what they want, and have priorities, you're going to have to step up your game or you're going to have to date those women who will accept what you have to give them. Because a lot of women aren't accepting this stuff anymore, y'all. They would rather be single and date than settle down with a loser, okay? A lot of women would rather become lesbians and be get with an, a successful uh, partner than settle for a loser man. And I've seen it, okay, plenty of times, okay. Men think that, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all. Men think that because a woman is turns lesbian, it means, you know, she was always gay. No, women like comfort. Women like security. That's why you can see a woman go back and forth from being a lesbian to being straight because they like the security, okay? They don't want to be with someone who they have to second guess, to have, who they have to worry about, who they have to think, oh, is this person going to be able to pay the bills this month? They don't like living like that, okay? Women like comfort. This is a natural thing that women are attracted to since the beginning of time. We like comfort. We're not going to go for the loser who is always losing his job, always in and out of prison, always in and out of jail. And if we have, we were very young and we have learned our lesson. We are not going for the man who has, you know, barely a high school diploma and works at fast food restaurant if we are over the age of 25. We're not going for that. Okay, we're not going for any of that stuff. And ladies, y'all need to tell these guys because they really think it's 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 a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> you know, it's sad that men have been so feminized and uh, taught that it was okay to have low standards and to expect women to have low standards. No, women can't go backwards in lifestyle. We can't. If we were raised in a certain environment, if we have, if we grew up in a certain class, we can't date somebody who, who, or marry someone who's broke, okay? Y'all have to come with it. We can't, like, don't try to get with a woman who is out of your league and call her names and call her stuck up and call her gold digger and call her delusional and full of it. No, that's her perspective of the world. And if you don't fit into it, you just don't fit into it, okay? Someone has to tell y'all the truth, okay? Someone has to tell y'all the truth. The truth is, you can't be mad at this lady for wanting uh, what her father and mother raised her to want. You can't 
get mad at some uh, some lady who says, no, I can't deal with you. No, my if I brought you home to my parents, they would slap me. Okay, no. Mm -mm. Step. Okay, you have to remember, women have parents. Women have mothers. Women have fathers, uncles, aunts, people that care about them. And if they drag home some loser, they're going to be judged for dragging home this loser. They're going to be like, mm, I bet she taking care of him. I bet she pays on dates. Oh, my God. He looks like he don't pay for nothing. Oh, my God. She can do so much better. Um, I, I, I'd be so glad when she dumps him. He's such a loser. Look at him. Look how, Listen to how he speaks. You know? <laughs> and their family is going to judge you anyway. So if you try to date someone out of your league... And they give you a chance and they bring you home to meet the family you're gonna automatically be like you know what looking at their house all their nice things and this is what she expects and I can't give this to her why am I even here you know let me go and find someone in my own league who's gonna be happy with what I already had because I don't have this woman cannot inspire me to become this great because in my little silly mind I think that she's supposed to come down to my level not I'm not supposed to go up to her level because well I don't want to I shouldn't have to you know we're equal now no if a woman doesn't inspire inspire you to become a better man then you're with the wrong woman I'm just saying if your woman cannot expire uh, inspire you to greatness then what is she there for you know for me my um my exes i'm like I, like i've I've had ex-boyfriends who didn't have much i bring them home to meet my family bring my mom they'd be looking everywhere like and after that it was like either you you come up or you you make room for somebody else to come do this okay if you can't provide this or better bye bye Okay, if, ladies, if you want, ladies, if you came from a good family and your mom and dad have their stuff together or your aunt or your, you know, bring them over to someone's house who has it together, you know, and bring them to meet and see your environment. Once they see your environment, they're either going to step it up or leave you alone, okay? Most men can sit here and type online all day about women this and women that, and you go to their house, they have like one piece of furniture, no art on the wall, just, you know cleaners bag wire hangers and all that crap in the closet and have like two plates and a pot if you go to their house and they're they're living like that and you bring them to your place and you're living like you know lavish they're either going to have to step it up or leave you alone so that you can find somebody on your level okay a lot of these men these days well i got my own business or i i, I make this much money yeah you that's good for a single person yeah can you take care of a woman can you take care of family you know uh, a certain amount of money is only good for one person okay that's not impressive anybody can live lavish if they're uh, single and not and don't have anybody to support okay we're looking for men who have real support financial stability okay you can you can work at your little job you can own your little own business you can drive your nice car but if you can't support other people in a family we don't see you with as you know a man of means we see you as that that bachelor that if if he had a wife and kids he would be driving um something else okay <laughs> so that's what i always look at when i look at guy i'm like okay if he had a wife and kids could he still afford this car and this this um place and if the answer is yes, he's good. If the answer is no, he's fronting. Because as soon as, you know, you know, a lot of those men can't afford it, but they're not going to be lit, be able to live the luxurious lifestyle that they've been used to, but they can't afford it. So if you're not trying to be like overly materialistic and you just want that stable man, that's fine. But is he going to give that up for you? Is he going to trade in his uh, Mercedes for a Hyundai so that he can support you and you can stay home and raise your kid. Is he going to do that or not? You know, if the answer is no, then, you know, that's the kind of guy you're dealing with. You're dealing with someone who can only take care of himself. Okay. Um, so you want to find a financial man that can take care of you and your kids and himself. 
okay so don't let don't let the fake i have a video on fake ballers don't let the fake ballers fool you okay um <laughs> it's funny because uh you'll see a lot of people that live like that in front like that and are totally fine with it they will never get married they will never have kids because they value that lifestyle more and that's understandable you know you can't change people like that you just move on um someone asked me to talk about this book called the rules and um there's a book called the rules and it's the rules of dating and you know if a man makes a date with you at the last minute you never accept it because he's putting you out your last minute thought you know you need to be a priority when you're dating someone you need to be the priority Otherwise, it's not re really worth your time because a man chases what he wants. A, a, a challenge is is the first thing on his mind, okay? If he's not chasing you, if you're a last, if you're an afterthought, then don't even bother with him. Until he's chasing you and blowing up your phone and will meet you at the drop of a dime when you're ready, that's a man who wants you. You know, if you have to call, reset dates, make dates, you're the man, okay? Don't be the man. Be the woman. There are so many men out there who will love to date you and pay for you. Don't settle for those who are living in fantasy land, okay? Those men live in fantasy land if they think women are okay subconsciously with paying for dates. Women might pay for a date, you know? This is 2015, almost 16. Women will pay for a date, but guess what? They, it's in their subconscious mind, they see you as less. They see you as a loser. They might not say it, they might not realize it at first, but when things start to go sour in the relationship, they're gonna be like, you know what? That was a red flag, he wouldn't even pay for my dinner. What a loser, I know next time, you know? Subconsciously, when you don't pay for something, men, your woman has put you on a shelf with the label loser under it, and when it's time to to pull that card, she's gonna she's gonna remind you. You didn't even pay for our date. What kind of man are you? You know, it's it's gonna come out. It will. She's gonna use it against you later on. You know, I have to pay for your. I have to do this. I have to do that for you. You're not a real man. Get away from me. You know, I can do that for myself. What do I need you for? You know what? You know they're gonna pull all that. But if you pay for stuff, they're gonna be like, you know, you're so right. Thank you so much for for always taking care of me and and doing this and that you know i'm thankful for you i'm thankful for you all the women out there have to pay for their men and i just look at them like Ugh, i'm so sorry for you because you don't deserve that and they will they will hold an animosity over you because you make them pay you might not know why they're looking at you crazy one day or not talking to you one day or feeling sad because they just saw their friend uh who whose boyfriend or husband bought them some lavish gift or took them on a trip and your man's like you got to pay for half of everything you know you might not know why she's upset she's upset because you're a loser <laughs> and you expect her to pay and you're you know and some women will literally become emotionally depressed or things like that. They will watch other women's relationships with uh, with their men. And be like, I wish my man was like that. I think I settled. I, I really want to start over. And this is what when women start cheating. Women start cheating when they see other men doing things for other women that they wish their men would do. And they'll hint and give you clues. But if you don't follow and if you don't get them and you don't improve, she's going to be like, well, maybe I should replace him. Um, yeah, I'm in a dead end relationship. I just don't feel things anymore. And I'm looking to get out of this. Like women will start thinking, women are always in their head. So this is why it's important for men to pay on a date because later on down the line, if y'all end up together, she's gonna remember your first date, what you ate, if you paid or not, and all that. And when your child, if you do have a child asks, well, mommy, what's your first date with daddy like? Oh, he made me pay. No. You would be embarrassed to tell your daughter that. And you would, you should be embarrassed as a man to tell your son that story. Oh, yeah, mom, uh, your mom paid for my dinner and her own dinner that night. And here we are. You know, no, no wonder so many boys are going out wanting to be women. Because women do way more than men these days, especially in the dating area and in the mothering 
and nurturing section. You know, if we got to work, cook, clean, teach, do homework, uh, deal with the, the kids, we're like superwoman, okay? All y'all do is go to work, come home, sit down on the couch, okay? Who wants to do that? That's why men are looking up to women as role models these days because you're putting all of your roles on us and we do it way better. You know, I don't want to do the role of a man. I don't want to do the role of a woman. And that's what I'm doing. I will tell my kids, they're girls, go to school, get an education because the men these days, they might as well be women. So you got to make your own way. So I am teaching my kids to be independent because I know men are far and few out there these days. And it's pretty sad. And I, but I did tell my kids, don't ever pay for a man. If you, if you have to go on a date and that man doesn't pay, walk away. Never pay for a date, ladies. Never. Okay, and I'll see y'all later. Thumbs up and don't forget to uh, give those guys a piece of your mind as to why these kind of videos are necessary to deal with these type of men of today. And they don't, they don't get it. They don't get it. They would rather avoid the problem then understand it, which is pretty ignorant if you ask me, okay? I'll see y'all later. Bye.